What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are back in Forza Horizon 2 doing another build of the Bugatti E1 EB110 Super Sports. Now the reason why we're doing another build of it is because many 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 people in the comments section of my last build, even though I, I specifically stated that um, <laughs> that that build was of the stock engine, um, basically let me know that I did that build the wrong way because I didn't s swap the engine. Now I completely understand where you're coming from on swapping the engine because it would make it quite a bit faster, but in the original video, I felt, well, it was the the first time I'd, I'd had the car out, it was the first time I'd built it, I kind of wanted to build the stock engine, see what it would do. So now, we're going to actually go back into my garage, get that car, swap the engine, and see what we can do with it. Now, we'll uh, we'll probably get um, definitely, definitely over 270, um, but how much over 270 we get uh, kind of depends on conditions regarding like traffic and and roads and what we, whatever we uh wherever we end up achieving that speed so let's see eb110 super sports get in car now i think the biggest thing too with swapping the engine in this car is the fact that well obviously obviously it's going to be quite a bit lighter and that's why lighter than the veyron and that's why swapping that, that engine into it is primarily going to get you that much more power, but or not that much more power, that much more power to weight ratio. But thing about it, though, is that let's go ahead and get it. There we go. Eight liter W16 quad turbo. Much better. Much, much, much better. And I actually, you know what, since it's, since it's been so long since I've used the Veyron, I completely forgot how much um, power you can actually squeeze out of this engine through through actually upgrading it. So, we're all over 1,200 now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. I actually wonder, I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can swap this car to rear drive. I don't know if you can do that. I'm going to check, because if you can... That would, that would pull out quite a bit of weight if you could. And this has so much power now that it's just going to spin all four tires from a stop anyway. So, it's either going to spin the rears or it's going to spin all four. So, you might as well have it spin just the rears and save all the extra weight. But the only way we're going to be able to do that is... Well, number one, if we can go find out in the menu. And we're nearly there. And actually, I just remembered if we swap that, then we'll have to redo the clutch and the uh, the clutch and the um, the drive shaft, the diff. Uh, but that's fine. We can redo all of that. Just wanted to make sure. Yes, we can drive train swap to rear wheel drive. And I mean, it makes it a little bit more, or a little, sorry, a little bit less front weight bias. But it does take off a, quite a bit of weight. So we're gonna actually swap it to rear drive and see if that helps it or hurts it. And let's see. Go ahead and redo everything in here. And then once we do that, I'm going to do a baseline test run. And then we're going to start messing with the final drive ratio and seeing uh, seeing what we can get out of it as far as as far as far maximum speed. And I'm pretty sure I know the exact road I'm going to use for this. But first, but before we get there, I want to see how little traction this thing actually has. Like, how much of a traction issue... Uh, we're actually dealing with. You forget how beastly the Veyron engine sounds. There's another one back there. Alright, let's see. First gear is... No grip. Second, no grip. Third gear. Wow, no way. Hold on. Wow, we actually have grip in third, fourth, fifth. I can already tell we're going to need to mess with the gears, but that's actually really good traction. But then again, we have like, what is it, 325 or 355 tires in the back? I mean, they're ridiculously wide tires. So, let's see. We'll start about here, so we can get a massive run up to the highway. And, oh, you know what? You know what? The fact that there's a Storm Island screen... That just, to me, that makes me think, that makes me want to do a rally build of this thing. Just like an off-road EB110 Super Sports. That and the, that and the Wagoneer, which is coming, an off-road uh, Wagoneer build. But, um, that will be, that will be out later. But this, uh, this is the one that we're focusing on right now as far as, as far as getting this thing up to the maximum possible speed that we can. And, as usual, it spawns us in the wrong direction. Roll through first and second, into third, and 
I'm actually, you know what, just for fun, I'm gonna break boost a little bit. Go! Oh yeah, that spins him up. If you break boost, you spin through third and fourth. Oh yeah, okay, it just bounces off the limiter. But it's got so much more to give. It bounces off the limiter, but it's got so much more left in it. Let's see, we're gonna mess with the final drive. How fast is it thinking? 225 right now. Down to a 3, it's thinking... 241. At a certain point, it won't allow you to get any more speed out of it, but... 290, that's 250, 280, well, we'll say 280. Okay, so a 280 final drive is 259. Again, we have to test these, but these are just projected speeds. 263. Let's try a 265 final drive. That says 272. It was getting up there. It's really getting up there. 272.2. 272.1. Okay, I'm thinking it's it's only going to calculate up to 272 probably. And okay, 272.3. So I think what I'll do is I'll just run it with the gear ratio we have, which is 2.57. And we'll see. I mean, it says 272.2. And I think that's about as high as it'll estimate to, but we'll see. I'll just leave it at 6, then go. Come on! I have to break. It's getting up there. That's a 230. Oh, come on! That's 260! Bro, 270! 71... 2... Yep, I mean, we touched 272. But damn, that is ridiculously fast. I'll spin for the prize later. We'll try it back in the other direction, but you know what? I feel like I feel like if we change the final drive just a little bit more, just a little bit more, make it a little bit longer, we could we could squeeze a couple more miles an hour out of it. It keeps saying 272.3. No matter how much I lower it, it's still going to be 272. Yeah, 272.4. I'm going to try it at, what, 2.46? That's so low geared. Although it does allow it to grip up in third, which is nice. Later, LaFerrari. Alright, come on then. Just trying to maintain speed until we get to the straightaway. Crap, okay, that's what rewinds are for. I'm full throttle now. Ooh, wow, okay. Thank you for pulling out in front of me, I appreciate that. Not really, but... Oh, they're not there now! That's ridiculous, okay. That, oh my god. Alright, stay focused. That's flat, completely flat out. We're not going to be able to do it this way. We're going to have to go back the other way. There's just not, there's not enough room. The, uh, the highway isn't wide enough and there's too much traffic at this end. There's always too much traffic at this end. And there's traffic cars that go down the middle of the road, randomly. Much better already going in this direction. <laughs> and the nice thing is that you can just leave it in 6th. With a gear ratio that low, you can just leave it in 6th and go. You have no problem whatsoever. The 
This is where the speeds are achieved. Come on! Seventy-one. Oh my God! Ah! Try, try messing with sixth gear itself instead of messing with the final drive because we've screwed with the final drive so much. Let's see. Gearing, let's see. We'll take sixth gear down just a little bit. Still says 272.1. It does not want to, uh, it does not want to budge. And the bad thing about it, too, is that, well, I, I shouldn't say this is the only place to test it, because there's more area down here, but I, I like I like this section up here a lot, but we're going to use the section down here. We're going to see what we can do with this section. Oh, God, traffic! Staying focused. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, I know it can get it. I know it can get it. I know it can sustain more than 272. Come on, I just want to see 273 on that speedometer. I really want to see 273. Dang it. That we are not going to let happen. Through the magical powers of rewind. Oh god, no! Jeez! God, make one mistake at this speed and, and you're screwed completely. Oh god, the map glitched up! Dude, the map is glitching like crazy! I don't keep rewinding, but I want this- I want this speed! On. Oh my god. Yes, 273. I saw 273. For a split second there, I saw 273. Ooh. <laughs> Show me 273 again. Come on. Ah, it doesn't want to. It'll hang out right around 270, and it'll occasionally it'll do it'll do higher. I mean. But, man. So focused right now, trying to avoid everything. Okay, yeah, that's that's about it for that run. Whoop. Uh, ow. Ow. Oh, dear God. And into the, well, guardrail slash tree. But we got into 273. 273 did register on the, uh, on the speedometer, the in-game speedometer. So... Um, if you guys enjoyed the, uh, this quote-unquote correct way to build the, uh, EB110 Super Sports, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, honestly, I'm gonna stop calling it the correct way, because you build the car however you want, but, if you do want to have what is basically the fastest car in the game, then swap the Veyron engine into this thing, mess with the gearing, uh, upgrade that engine fully, and you've got a beast on your hands. But again, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.